Hey, and welcome to Zero to NP. We'll be going over the main six neurotransmitters for psychiatry and your PMHNP exam. So we'll be going over glutamate, GABA, dopamine, acetylcholine, serotonin, and norepinephrine. And this will be a more zoomed out version, a kind of highlights reel. And then there will be following videos more in depth, especially on dopamine and dopamine pathways. Glutamate is your main excitatory neurotransmitter. Um, some medications that affect glutamate are antiepileptics like lamictal, uh, topiramate, and gabapentin, which also can be used in psychiatry, right? As well as memantine, which is for Alzheimer's, as well as um, N acetylcysteine, ketamine, and many others. But the main thing to remember is that glutamate is your main excitatory neurotransmitter. And then in contrast, you have GABA, which is your main inhibitory neurotransmitter. So there's lots of drugs that work on GABA, but the main one that I want you to remember are benzodiazepines. So those are your Xanax, Clonopin, Valium, so Alprazolam, Clonazepam, all of those, all the PAMs. I also want you to remember that it's secreted by the amygdala. On to dopamine. It is from the VTA as well as the substantia nigra. We'll go more into depth on that during the dopamine pathways video. So too much dopamine can lead to schizophrenia and psychosis symptoms, while too little leads to Parkinson's as well as so with antipsychotics, you can have Parkinsonism symptoms, right? Whenever the dopamine gets too low. So there's four dopamine pathways in the brain that we'll go over later. So your main medications are antipsychotics and Parkinson's medications that I want you to remember. Next, we have acetylcholine. So this helps neurons communicate with each other. So it helps with memory. Low acetylcholine or dysfunction with acetylcholine is thought to be part of the process with Alzheimer's dementia. So one of the biggies that I want you to think about is Aricept as well as anticholinergics and that comes from the basal forebrain as well as the MTA. So then we have our friend serotonin that comes from the raphe nucleus. It's involved in mood, sleep, the sleep-wake cycle as well as appetite. So most antidepressants work on serotonin, not all, right? So like there's Wellbutrin that doesn't work on serotonin, as well as tramadol, tryptans, St. John's wort, among many others. And lastly, we have norepinephrine, which comes from the locus ceruleus. It's mainly implied in motivation. So it is used with ADHD medications, SNRIs, TCAs, MAOIs, and Wellbutrin, among others. So to recap, glutamate is your main excitatory, while GABA is your main inhibitory. Dopamine dysregulation is involved in schizophrenia and Parkinson's. Too much is psychosis. Too little is Parkinson's or Parkinsonism. Acetylcholine is involved in memory. Serotonin is your sleep-wake, as well as mood and appetite. And norepinephrine is kind of your get up and go, that motivation. Thanks so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions or input in the comments below.